Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. I just got home from shopping a few Dollar Trees and there is a lot of new things to show you. So I, I made sure to film everything I saw. A lot of new things in office supplies, back to school supplies, and stationery, a lot of things. Even some new things over in crafts and in home. So come shop with me. I'm gonna show you some things you should be looking for right now at Dollar Tree. In this video, we're gonna start off with some new summer finds. I've shown you a lot of the summer things before in previous videos, but there were a couple of things that have popped up that are new, so I wanted to make sure I pointed them out. These foam gliders are not a new item. What is new is the different styles they come in. They used to be just plain white. Now they have these really cool colors and they're all individualized, so you can find one that really suits your kid. Lots of different colors to choose from. These actually work. I showed them in a dollar toy test here on the Purple Alphabet, and they were awesome. These are really cute too they are bubble containers and i actually did a toy test just recently last week on this so i'll have to put that up in the corner for you to go check out next also new are these containers of bubbles so you're supposed to be able to just pour and go and travel with these much easier than the plastic containers come in a couple of different colored packages i haven't tried them yet so i'm not sure if they're good or not this was in a toy test i believe last year it was the bubble flying disc it's a lot of fun to play with and does do a lot of bubbles and works, except I wouldn't catch it. I would just use it for throwing. A big favorite is this one. This is a, a bug viewing kit. You can take it around your yard and check out all the little bugs in the containers that you collect or the flowers or rocks. Another item that was in that dollar toy test last week. There are also these other bug observation kits that have some really great fine motor tools in them. So even if you don't use them for outdoor play, it'd be great to have them on hand for some fine motor activities for your kids. There were two different styles and each one had different tools in it. If you have some sand nearby or a sandbox, these are adorable. That's Elmo and Cookie Monster sand tools. Each one comes with three different tools. I think the Cookie Monster is just so cute. And they have shovels and little rakes and you can use them for sand play. This bubble blaster is also a new item and I put this in that same Dollar Tree toy test from last week. And you can see if it was a fail or a win. It came in two different colors. This outdoor game, I believe, has been around a few years now where you push a little trigger and the ball comes out and you can catch it in the glove. It only comes with one, so you might want to grab another one if you want to do a game with it. Moving on to the craft section. These are new. They are embroidery looms. And they come in different colors for the outer ring. And they also come in the plain color as well. These are not wooden. They are plastic. They looked really, really nice. I only saw these in one store yet. So I think they're coming still. These stencil wheels are not new, but I think the style is. It's a square style. Usually I see them in a circle style. These are great. They have all kinds of different things on them for stenciling on wood projects or other craft projects. I did show you some stamps in my last Shop With Me video, and now I finally found the letter stamps. And these are both uppercase and lowercase. And I always show you these little laser die cuts too for my Tinker dough boxes. But look, they have some new ones that are in different colors. They're already colored for you. I really like this duck and the owls are so pretty and I think that's kind of cool that they're already coming pre-painted so you don't have to paint them. Dollar Tree usually has glass containers in the art section but this one was a new one. It's a little mini mason jar. It even has a little handle on the side and the lid that matches on the top. These are really really cute. All right let's head on over to the toy section and I'll get into all of the desk and office and school supplies next. The toy section had a few finds that I wanted to make sure that I mentioned. They have these design a vinyl figures where it has the markers inside and you can color it. They have them in all sorts of different characters that are licensed like Minnie Mouse and Paw Patrol. They even had a really cute stitch and some superhero characters. I personally haven't tried any of the fashion doll kits, but I did see some new ones, a jet ski and a kayak, and they look like they would fit the larger dolls such as a Barbie. So those are some new finds. Also been seeing these for these smaller dolls like the little sister of Barbie little play sets that they can have for an outdoor scene. This is a brand new thing. It's an RV car, a mini one from Turbo Wheels. I usually am impressed with Turbo Wheels, so these came in three different colors. We have some Crayola Super Chalk, and these are just like big hockey puck size pieces of chalk, which might be a really good option for playing outside, although they are a little bit expensive for what they are. These shrink art kits are pretty good. I found some new styles in them. Last time I tried the ones for your shoelaces, which were really, really nice 
nice. They worked well and we liked them a lot. And so now they have some different styles for necklaces and in different themes. So we tested this out and they actually do work really, really well. Here's the one that we tried. It's the little charms for shoelaces. Love these little kits. Great summer activity too. These color form sets are really nice. We've also tested these out. They really do work. And this time it seems that we have a couple of other styles. They're usually in the PBS characters like Wild Kratz. And then there's also the princess one too. Great for car rides, travel games, airplane activities, or even restaurant activities. Several stores had some new Mother's Day gift ideas like these do-it-yourself candle making sets. Looks like there was a couple of different color scenes where you just kind of pour the multiple wax into the candle and create your own designs. I thought this was pretty interesting. I haven't seen this before, so if I'm wrong, somebody will have to tell me, but it'd be a really fun gift to do together with a mom for Mother's Day. And then we had a lot of incense burners and the different types of incense. So these would be for the cones. I also found some that would be for the sticks. Sometimes I'll see incense burners at Dollar Tree, but this time they like went all out with all kinds of different ceramic holders that looked like really nice decor. I also had some fun candle holders. I like these little iridescent ones that kind of have a different color depending on how you turn them. They're really pretty. It would make a great Mother's Day gift, especially last minute. Teacher's Appreciation Week was this past week, but I did film this a few days ago. So I wanted to show you a couple things that they have. These are also great to buy now and to save them for future when you need those little gift items. I do like the little pouches here. You can put gift cards inside of here and make a really nice end of year school gift as well. And then they also had some really cute teacher related decor with all kinds of different sayings on them. And I actually like the hanging ones the best. Those were really, really cute. And they looked nice, like things that you'd buy at Hobby Lobby. Some little pails, put all kinds of things inside and make a nice little gift. Back over to the office supply section. I was checking out what they had and I was pretty impressed on some of the things. Check out this, it's a dry erase calendar. And this one came in a couple of different styles. So you would use it per month, wipe it down and then switch it out for the next month. And this one, they had several different styles. I only saw this in one store so far, which means it's probably just now hitting the shelf. So you're more likely to find this in your store. So many pads of paper right now. We have the ones that are just pull off, tear off. There's also ones that have have the magnet on back so you can hang it somewhere if you wish. Lots of different themes and styles. I am a sucker for all of these. I stock up on these when I see them because usually they'll like come for a couple of months and then they'll be gone and you won't be able to find them again. But they had a lot of fun different styles of these and they're always good to keep on hand so that you have them when you need them. Talk about an old school address book. Look at this. It's like really old school how I remember address books being. So if you want to take things not so digitally anymore, this might be a good option for you. It actually looked like a really nice one. This is a really cute notepad set with post-its in there and little page flags and different themes. So there was different outside covers and sayings on them and it was a little box to keep them in. Really cute. It'd actually be a really fun gift. This little pattern here you're going to see throughout this video because I think this is one of the patterns that is going to be pretty consistent. These are little notebooks that have the same post-its and a pad of paper on one side and all kinds of different prints. These are really really pretty and they're a great size for a backpack or a little bag if you have a bag for work or something like that. These would be really good for that. The notebook options right now are pretty extensive. You have notebooks for pads of paper, for to-do lists, for just general notes. Some of them are hardcover, some of them are softbound, some of them are lined, and some of them are not lined. Lots of different outside covers I saw as well. Some had a little band that you can put around it to keep it closed. And a lot of them had really nice inspirational sayings or quotes on the front. I'm actually gonna do a Dollar Tree haul. I picked up a couple of these notebooks. I'm gonna show you those in that haul video coming up next. And I'm gonna show you a few things that are not in this video. So you're gonna wanna make sure you subscribe so that video will pop up in your feed so you can watch it when it comes out. Sorry for my bad camera work here. We have some really cool notebooks. These have like a plexi flexible cover to them and those same patterns that we've been looking at before. We have some spiro bound notebooks with lined paper inside and all kinds of different styles here. Right next to them is also a hardcover notebook with lined paper or non lined paper inside too. Lots of really cute covers. If you're into desktop organization, these are cardboard file boxes. 
I only saw a couple of different colors, so I have a feeling more of these are coming. So if you like to have that cohesive look, then you can have this little file holder. It's just a slanted top so you can see what's inside. These look really, really nice on a desk or turned around to see the full spine. Some really nice pins with fluffy tops and a couple different styles. These tend to sell really, really fast at Dollar Tree. So if you like this kind of thing or your kids do, now is the time to get it. And when you see, you better buy it because they will be sold out really, really quickly because they're so fun. These are back from previous years and I wanted to mention them because they are a really good find. We've used these for a long time in our house. And then the gel pins, they had all the gel pins back in different colors. They're from Zebra, great quality. They write really nice and the colors are really, really pretty. This store is completely stocked up with all kinds of drawing pads and sketch pads. They had the ones that were bound on the top or horizontally the long ways. We stock up on these and use them all the time for art projects, for school projects, for drawing with crayons or markers or even painting. They're a pretty decent paper for what they are. The praying colored pencils, big surprise. This is 36 inside of here. And my store had quite a few of them, but I have a feeling they're gonna be selling pretty fast. Then I went to another store and saw that they had them in the 50 count, which is even more than what I got. So I, I ended up getting a couple of these just to have on hand. I also found the Crayola Ultra Clean Washable Markers, which are never on sale, even at back to school time. They're usually the full price. So that was a really good deal as well. Love that they have Crayola here. They also have the large crayons in a five pack. So the rainbow of colors and they're just the extra large crayons. I think this is a new desk organizer and it actually matches some of the other desk accessories that they have at Dollar Tree. It's just that gray silver wire frame. And then they also had a new one that is in Made Smart brand, which we have seen in other areas of the store. This one just happens to be the desk drawer organizer. I told you you're gonna see a lot more of that little swirly pastel pattern. And here it is again in a folder and as I pulled this out I noticed that a lot of the other patterns are on here too like that buffalo check in the black and white that is also a pattern I've seen as well as that kind of 80s speckled color and this polka dot color too I've also seen on notebooks so I have a feeling that these are some of the patterns that we're going to see for back to school time which is kind of fun a lot of pastels though I hope they bring some more bright colors out they also had the regular folders coming out too the two pocket folders these are the paper ones and then they had the rainbow of prong folders too. Little specialty pins. These are the multicolored ones that come in a couple different themes. Way up here at the top, we have these, these puzzles, which we've seen before in the past, but now they are back. One set is the rhyming words where you match the rhyming words together. And the other one is the animal babies. As I'm standing here, I noticed I forgot to show you this pin with the little dino on it. So cute. Another store, I found these really cool makeup brush holders. They were with the Mother's Day stuff, but I only saw them in one store. Store. I like the black one the best. Also a whole bunch of cosmetic bags for Mother's Day at this store. Really cute cosmetic bags that have little sayings on the front. And in the home section, look at this. It is a collapsible basket. Very intrigued by this. It came in two different colors, the blue and the gray, which coincidentally match all of the new home decor storage boxes that have been coming in. So this would be a cool find. It's not very big though, but it might be great for your car or something like that. Speaking of storage containers, here's a new one that's collapsible. I like that it has the angled top and it's in this pattern. This is also a new one. This is a collapsible storage container that has dividers inside. So brand, brand new and very intrigued with this one. Came in two colors, the gray and the navy. This one actually has a top or a lid to it, but it's not a sturdy top. So you wouldn't be able to stack anything on it. It's a very flimsy fabric, but if you want something covered, this might be a good option to get instead of having it open like the container or that these are actually stored in in the store. Again, once again, in two different colors. Heading on over to the books because it's been a while since I've been over there. I wanted to point out some really cool finds. We have these anime coloring books, two different kinds of these. I have never seen these before at Dollar Tree. So these are a brand new find and they have all these little anime characters in it. And there's two different styles that you can choose from. Pretty cool on that. And then they also had a whole bunch of Sid the Science Kid books. We have some Star Wars paint with water books. This 
this one actually looked pretty good. I'm a big paint with water fan. So if your kid likes Star Wars, this would be a really, really nice option to have. They also had some adult coloring books and they usually carry these at Dollar Tree year round, but it looks like they had some new styles. This one that says Influent, I'm fluent in sarcasm. It looked pretty interesting and amusing as well. And then we have more Star Wars, you guys, in sticker books. So these are the sticker books that come with the stickers. And then you basically put them on the pages and the scenes that you want the stickers to go in. A really fun activity book. Great for travel, great for restaurants, great for uh, spending the night over at grandma's. Love them. It comes in two different styles. Also want to point out the sticker by number, which is great for number recognition. And it's in the little people theme. So if you're working on numbers one to 100, this is a really good start and a way to reinforce those concepts like that one. And then some really cute number coloring activity books. I mean, who doesn't love this style? So I found this one here, which is a new activity book, I believe. And they also had the same one or the same style in alphabet. So if you're working on alphabets, that might be another one to pick up. Did want to mention that I happened to go on a day when they had just stocked all of the books. And so I had quite a selection to choose from, but I'll show you what I bought coming up in my next video at Dollar Tree Hall. These magnetic bookmarks are also a favorite too. I have a set and I use it all the time for all the reading I'm doing. I love that they brought them back in a couple of different styles. And then a random find are these selfie lights in different shapes. Pick these up now, hold them for Christmas stockings. These are really cute. Hearts, stars, and squares. Not sure if they work really well, but I did find them and wanted to show you. And then these would be amazing for a Father's Day present. If the father you are gifting likes all the cartoon characters, there was a huge selection of all sorts of different cartoon characters to pick from. Told you there was some good stuff and that also means a lot more back to school stuff coming too. I will definitely be showing you all of that in upcoming videos. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.